off for a little walk. Got my big rucksack today. Can only mean one thing. There's a wok in it. Is that a wok in your rucksack? Or are you pleased to see me? It's just a wok. I'm gonna try and make a Thai red curry. I've got my tarp. I wanted to try plow point configuration today. So yeah, it's exciting. Oh, it's an up late looking at how to buy woodland and uh, trying to figure out how much I need to grow this channel before I could buy some woodland. Could you imagine the things I could do if I owned a bit of woodland? Just a little bit. So yeah, I was like working all the numbers out like, and then my head exploded, so. Spawn. Okay, so tarp time. Are you ready? Wow! I believe this is called a plow point. If I'm wrong, please do let me know. Um, I'm not using a ridge line or anything, so just really simple. Attach one corner to a tree and the other three staked into the ground. This is awesome. I love it. All right. Bought my little um, hiking table today. Hey. There it is. It's cool, isn't it? The cutest little walk. Look. Isn't it adorable? While the rice is doing, I'm going to chop up some veggies and stuff. Ginger, a mini corn and a little carrot, garlic, spring onion, coconut milk, chicken breast in there, red Thai curry paste, a little bit of brown sugar, and I've got my mora odris. I've got some lovely Thai basil as well. I love garlic. Oh, it smells gingery. Uh, look at all these beautiful ingredients. Rice is done. So I'm just going to leave that in the pot now. Hopefully, that'll stay warm. Let's get this curry made. curry paste like the proper stuff uh, apparently it's got a bit of a kick
Thai curry, woodland style. Oh my gosh, it looks amazing. Mm. Oh my god. Wow. That's really hot. Jesus. Mm. It's really good though. Watch your mouth sort of gets used to the buttering. This is really good. I've just about adjusted to the heat a bit now. Yeah, I got um, the weirdest email yesterday. I mean, I do get quite a few weird emails, but uh, this one, the gist of it was, I'm going to hell because I'm too happy. I should be miserable because being human is about suffering. And however much I try and hold it off, it's going to get me to the end. But I'm going to go to hell because I didn't suffer enough. Um, so yeah, it was a bit of a weird email. It just got me thinking about happiness. And like, I am really happy. But, you know, trust me, I've, I've had my suffering as well. But I've learned over the last couple of years or so just sort of how to harness my energy and how to make myself happy basically I don't own things like other people do and but I'm just I'm really happy with the little life that I've got and I live life to the fullest as much as I can it just got me thinking don't let anyone ever make you feel bad for being happy like that's the point of life to to enjoy what you have um, and yeah just live life to the fullest that you, that you can manage I'd recommend that everybody does that and no one ever apologizes for it that was interesting email of the week i think look it's raining yay go get my sausage from school my final word on happiness while we're here for me it's about gratitude for everything that I have that I don't have everything that is and everything that isn't and it's about love and I don't mean in a romantic sense I mean in a broader sense and openness and a love for life and it's about acceptance as well for everything that is difficult and painful and beautiful and amazing because that is all part of life and it's a gift so yeah that's my thoughts on it i hope you have an amazing day and i'll see you again soon